Recent events have led many observers to consider this unsettling question. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, known for his erratic decision-making, sees targeted assassinations as a necessary weapon for the nation's survival. However, his actions have escalated tensions, increasing the risk of a regional war. The assassination of Hamas leader Ismail Haniyeh in Tehran, among others, has sparked outrage. Iran has vowed to respond, potentially involving its allies like Hezbollah and militia groups, which could lead to catastrophic consequences for the region. Experts warn that eliminating moderates like Haniya undermines peace efforts, pushing the region closer to conflict. As tensions rise, the cycle of violence continues, with Netanyahu's strategy drawing criticism for its recklessness. Netanyahu's political survival hinges on the support of ultra-Orthodox far-right ministers who advocate for extreme measures against Palestinians. Their influence raises concerns about the future of Israel as internal divisions deepen. The growing ultra-Orthodox population, now over a million, poses challenges for Israel's societal structure. Their increasing numbers and distinct lifestyle threaten to reshape the nation's identity and governance. As the IDF faces manpower shortages, the exemption of ultra-Orthodox men from military service has become a critical issue. Recent court rulings aim to address this, but tensions within the community remain high. While the immediate future may not spell disaster for Israel, history shows that internal and external pressures can lead to a state's decline. The question remains, are we witnessing the beginning of the end? As the situation unfolds, the world watches closely, wondering what the future holds for Israel and the broader Middle East.